Hi everybody, uh, we've had a great weekend in church. Um, for those of you who were in Bracknell um, this Sunday, then um, I had the privilege of speaking in the morning and the evening uh, about breaking the spirit of mammon. If you remember, we looked at Luke 16, and uh, we, where Jesus is speaking about money, and he, and he talks about this idea of mammon. And in modern translations, in the NIV, this word mammon has been translated into worldly wealth, uh, and literally just the word money as well. Um, But we looked at what is mammon. The original word that Jesus said was mammon. And what is mammon? And we looked at that. And you can go back and listen to the podcast to learn a little bit more about what mammon is. And and this spirit of mammon that rests on money often. And we looked at um, how mammon operates and how it impacts us as we seek to, to try and get more money and trying to get security from our money and have money that brings identity to us and significance to us and freedom to us. And we recognise that mammon promises all these things, but he can never fulfil his promises. Unlike God, who, who provides us with security and identity and freedom and independence and power and he actually fulfills his promises so we, we looked at what do we do with money we know that money isn't evil in and of itself it says in 1 Timothy that the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil so what do we do with our money and that brought me to a few conclusions that we look at in the in the passage in Luke 16 that I encourage you to go and have another read of and there's a few things that it shows us to help us in how we can relate to our money. Firstly, it talks about being generous. Just give of what you have. And maybe you're gathering in your small groups today. What I think would be a great thing to do is to um, share with one another how you have been generous this week. Challenge one another. Stir each other up by sharing stories about how you have been generous this week. Or maybe if you haven't had a chance yet, share with the group how you want to just try out generosity this week. Maybe it's giving something to the Vision Fund offering that will be happening next Sunday. Or maybe it's going into like a Costa like I did and doing something similar like that. I don't know. What, what does it look like? Um, how might you be generous today? The next way we can break the spirit of mammon is by being faithful with what we have. Being stewards, good stewards of the money and possessions that we have whether we have little or whether we have much. So maybe you want to talk about that in your groups or or scribble down in a journal if you're on your own. How might you be faithful with what you have? Maybe you need to do a bit of an audit. What do I have at the moment? What money do I have? What possessions do I have? And how can I be faithful with what I've got? And then lastly, we looked at gratitude in some of the meetings, the importance of gratitude and how actually as we thank God for everything that we have, the reality is we we came into the world with nothing and everything we have is is given from him anyway. And so to be thankful for what we have is so important. So what I'd love you to do is maybe spend some time in your group having an extended time of of praise and thankfulness to God. Maybe you just want to be praying out. Maybe you want to have a time of worship together to just praise him and thank him for all that you've given Um, all that he's given you and as you do that watch that spirit of mammon break watch him lose any dominion that he has over your life and instead as jesus said you cannot serve both god and mammon so let's be a church let's be individuals who don't serve mammon but serve god and god only god bless you this week and um and we'll see you next week um, for for another i'm sure it's going to be another great weekend at church